Rip the dream. Hmm. Still no luck finding anyone who knows me. Don't worry about it. Maybe your memory will come back on its own. Remember anything yet? Mm, nope. Oh well. I love how the resonance of this town is not just not just like oh it's just the blue guy transforming into a, a giant blue talking hedgehog transforming into a giant blue talking werewolf hedgehog werehog. That's what. So when the sun goes down, I turn into this. Are you okay, Sonic? I'm fine. I just need to be careful who sees me like this. Sonic. Sonic, look! What is it? Oh, it's hopeless! <laughs> the whole planet is split apart! We're doomed! <laughs> mister? Oh. Hey, mister! <laughs> hey, don't cry! Uh, ice cream! How about some more of this super tasty stuff? What good is ice cream at a time like this? <laughs> Oops. Sonic, your arm just stretched. Weird. But it could be useful. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm giving fuds. But honestly, though, I wonder how big of a problem would that actually make if the world split apart? Hmm, that's a questionable thing, don't you think? But I do believe I gotta go right back into the temple, or they call it the village. Village? I think this is called the village. Or I don't know exactly what these areas are called. I wouldn't call them temples because in the Wii version, the PlayStation 2 version is called temples. Uh, on the PS3 and Xbox 360 version, I think they are called villages. Villages? Village. Village. Jesus, the Werehog has no HP at the beginning of the game. That is gross. Shield's not so bad, but the HP and the Unleash Gauge is gross. I might not even work on regular Sonic. I might work on the Werehog, just because I, I don't like the way that HP Gauge looks. That HP Gauge looks gross, dude. Absolutely gross. And this cutscene right here is pointless as hell, dude. That's the level of pointless this cutscene is. Tails, I'm positive, can actually fight them. Then he flies away and screams, Help! Well, Tails, you are out of the area, so why are you screaming, Help now? You can clearly fly away for free. Unless the problem is that you're trying to help the people in the town. Your friend went off. How do you know that's my friend? I didn't say a thing to you, Chip. You can't just start assuming things, bro. Never even said I knew that guy. And now this is everybody's fun pastime. Where all guess? I know these are unleashed Gaia energy things. They allow me to use unleash gauge. We know thanks, chips. But here goes everybody's favorite pastime, Werehog time. A lot of people hate the Werehog. Strongly because well, most people reasonings is, oh man, the Werehog is slow. This is in Sonic. And I'm just like, okay, the Werehog's a brawler, it's supposed to be slow. But then other people pointed out at the fact that, oh man, the Werehog, when you get into his encounters, you kind of have to fight, you can't just leave. And that is the thing I actually will give people, frame droppage. Quick time events, but that's not good, Sorry. that's just for combos, but yeah. That's one thing I do get people, he just ended my combo by punching me in the face. I'm sorry, I'm focusing on actually punching things in the face when I really don't need to. These are EXP Chaos Orbs, thank you sir. But let me continue explaining this and stop getting off topic. That's something I gotta get used to when commentating. But yeah, people complain that um, yeah, you gotta get, you get stuck into his encounters too much. Like, 
It's basically like Pokemon, for instance. But you can't run from the Pokemon. You just walk into this grass and you encounter Pokemon. You're like, rip. I already have like 60 Zubats. Well, I, I guess I wouldn't say grass, because Zubats aren't in grass, they're in caves. But that's not the point I'm trying to make here. You're walking through um, a cave, Mamu, for instance, and you run into a bunch of Zubats. You're like, God damn it! I don't want no more Zubats. I already have like three Zubats and I have a Golbat. I'm good. You may be wondering, well, I mean, you can just run from Pokemon in Pokemon games. And yes, you're correct, you can run from Pokemon in Pokemon games. But in Sonic Unleashed, when you encounter the Dark Gaia creatures, there is no such thing as running. Your only option is to fight. And there's, there's levels later down in the game that are really long and time consuming. Right? For instance, Chunan has a few um, long time consuming puzzles. Some people may not know what Chunan is if you haven't seen a playthrough of this game or you just want to see another guy play through this game such as myself and see their reaction to it. Well, here you are. But Chunan's another level in this game. We'll be getting to that for quite some time. It'll take some time for us to get, for us to get there. But Chunan has some long time consuming puzzles. And when you die, you're just like, wow, are you curious? Are you serious? Uh, this is going to take forever. And you're right, it, it, it does take forever. Because then you get thrown into some bunch, you get thrown into a bunch more encounterments. And it, it basically, are, it's a rinse and repeat cycle. You fight and you fight and you fight. And then it kind of gets annoying. And you want to just skip over some battles, kind of like Kingdom Hearts. You play Kingdom Hearts, you get into a bunch of encounterments in Kingdom Hearts, you can skip by them. No big deal. Oh man, I'm so done fighting these Heartless. Let me just skip past them. And boom, you skip past the Heartless, everything is fine. You miss out on some EXP, but guess what? You don't gotta fight any Heartless. And that's all that matters, don't you think? But no, Sonic Unleashed kind of strips away that. You are forced to combat these Dark Gaia Eggman creatures, or robots, whatever you want to call them. And it's not a fun time for anybody. Me, on the other hand, I don't mind it too much. I understand, I completely understand where people come from on the... Dude, I don't want to keep fighting these Dark Gaia creatures or these egg mineral robots and stuff. It gets annoying and tiresome. And you're alright, it does get annoying and tiresome. And I think that's overall what people's main complaint should be. Not the fact that he's slow because... We can play on this. This is really not that slow. This is actually kind of fast. Faster than a brawler should be, in my opinion. It's just the encounterments. The the consistent encounterments you get. Constantly slowing down the pace of your platforming fun as a world. Can I get this ten ring, please? Thank you. But yeah, that's about it. That's my little, um, justice upon the world, I guess. Justice rent topic. Whatever. I want to know how you guys personally feel about the Werehog. Because to me, the Werehog is... I thought he was a really cool addition to the Sonic series. Just, dear God, they should have... They should have had somebody look over the encounterments. Um, alright. We are looking to get off of this, please. Thank you. The controls are Werehog not finicky at all. They're perfectly fine, too. The controls are relatively good. Everything with the Werehog flows pretty well to me. I don't have many problems with this, I don't have many problems with that. Overall, it's really, really fun. I like the world a lot. Has lots of combos, but this is what I'm talking about. You see these encounterments left and right, and no matter what you can do, you can't leave the encounterments. The only thing that makes the encounterments more fun is when you get more combos. So right now, we have pretty lackluster combos. The music is nice and jazzy, but that's another thing that also kind of ruined the Werehog. A lot of people like the music a lot in the level, like, you get later levels, like, oh my god, like, um, dude, what's that level called? What's that level called? Uh, I forgot the name of the level, but, uh, I think it's Jungle Joy, Jungle Joy Ride, no, that's, that, it's not Jungle Joy Ride, but basically, it's, Jungle Joy Ride is connected to one of the levels. Jungle Joy Ride is one of the daytime missions but that level has such good music when you're playing with the werehog and you get interrupted by the encounterments and every time you encounter an enemy it changes the really really good music you like listening to 
All the music in the game is really, really good. Don't get me wrong. Sega barely ever makes a bad soundtrack of Sonic games. But soundtracks are usually really, really good. You might have a few of them that are not good, but well, you may have a few of them that you don't like, like hit or misses, but usually they're good. So think about playing through a level like I got a perfect example. Think about playing through City Escape, alright? Now, every single time you play through City Escape, you run into an Eggman robot. Or a gun robot. Because they're pretty much gun robots, not Eggman robots in that game. You run into a gun robot in City Escape. And then. Hold on, just a second. Quick interruption there. But think about running into a gun robot. And every time you run into a gun robot, it's. I'm trying to think of a song in Sonic Adventure 2 that I didn't really care too much for. Alright, here's a song in Sonic Adventure 2 I didn't care too much about. I didn't care for Mad Space too much. Now think about running into a gun robot in City Escape, and then uh, Mad Space plays every single time you run into that robot. You're like, uh, I don't really want to listen to Mad Space. I'm trying to enjoy City Escape, but you can't because Mad Space is the battle theme the encounter theme uh, of a robot it kind of destroys the song for you and kind of it gets irritating to a lot of people including myself it does get irritating after a while but some of the stage music is just really really good and it's what I want to listen to also where hard can't swim even with these long stretchy arms Sonic still cannot swim swimming is just something that Sonic cannot do and he would never learn how to swim. He can hover. Not hover, I mean, he can, um, let me use this real quick. He can jump, walk, and run in the water. But swimming, that's no more. I'm gonna leave Gage will run out right now. Also, really hate these enemies. There's a few enemies in this game that can be really, really annoying. that right good but it's a ton of brawling it's a ton of brawling in the warhawk stages i know warhawk's meant for brawling but uh, there is just a little too much if they ever did revisit the idea of sonic unleashed which they won't because they're gonna revisit that same idea too many times it's usually um this idea worked keep moving this idea flopped let's work on this idea a little bit more and then you know, that's pretty much how it goes. If the idea works, they move on. If the idea flops, they move on. Or if they're feeling like it, they touch up that idea. Alright, seems like XYY is probably the best combo for carrying out things at this low level that I'm right now. Alright, so those little stones there, the little red stones inside that building. Oh my god, that camera. Yeah, the, the camera angle in Sonic Unleashed is fixed. It's not at all like the Sonic Adventure camera angle, which people complained a lot about. The camera angle wasn't really that bad. No, I'm lying. It was actually really, really bad. I can't even defend that camera angle myself. That camera angle was really, really, really bad. But yeah, the camera angle in this game is um, fixed. So you don't really have to turn the camera, the camera kind of turns itself. Which can lead to some bad things because look what happened if I try to change the camera angle. Yeah, that's about it. Alright, so like I said, these rooms, not these rooms, sorry, this piece right here. These little stones, they're used for puzzles. Puzzles that would get really complicated, not really complicated, but not even difficult. I don't even know how to explain it. Puzzles just get really annoying because later in the level, like I was saying before, later in the game levels, you come across really, really cheap bosses, really cheap bottomless pits, pretty much classic Sega things, but in a modern game. And it can mess you up really, really bad, especially when you really want to finish that level. 
my god, it's these bees. These bee enemies? Yeah, it's not worse than ever in the game. Not fun to play games. They just do way too much damage. And they're just overall annoying. Oh yeah, I can also pick up items and throw them at people. Seaside Pallor, Pallor. Whoa, that box just kind of fell apart when I went through here. Just trying to make sure this enemy doesn't notice me. I don't think you can sneak up an enemy in this game. No, you can't. But you can do this. Watch this. Okay, I tried to throw him off, but the game said no, bro. Yeah, you can't kick enemies off things like I thought you could. Let's walk across it. Alright, the safe thing about these little, I don't know what you call these, balance beams, I guess? Is, they are, I, I was mashing B so hard. Okay, that's going to take a huge hit to my score. That sucks. That, that really, really sucks. That is going to take a huge hit in my score. I'm going to get an E rank and I don't care anymore. I was jumping and then I was smashing B, but she didn't grab. That's the annoying thing. Ah, Sonic, why didn't you grab that? Yes, go over there, go over here, go over here. Like I said, I do need to collect these medals. I don't need to collect them all. I do need to collect enough of, them, enough of them so I don't have to grind through levels and everything. Or grind through hub worlds, because hub worlds do have the medals as well. But I just don't feel like grinding through it for medals. So anytime I see an opportunity, I will go for one that's inside of a level. If I see one in the hub world, I'm going to go for it. But I'll try not to have them take up most of the time. These dark guy enemies are mainly for platforming, such as that. Give me that moon metal. Grab that. Grab that. Sometimes, I, like I said, the world's controls aren't bad, but sometimes when it comes to like grabbing onto something, it can definitely cost you something. Dude, is your guard really not breaking? I threw so many guard break abilities out and his guard just doing break. That's weird. But yeah, my score took a huge hit. That's depressing. We're coming up to the end of the level right now. Right through those doors should be our big mastermind monster guy. Let's break this. This is defense. That's attack. That's... I'm not exactly sure what that is. Alright, big dude. Alright, throughout this battle, this guy's pretty much going to destroy half his team for me, so I don't have to worry too much about this guy. Well, I don't have to worry about too much of the force of enemies around me. Oh, until he smacked me up against the wall against that. And the frame rate will drop a lot around this part. And I need to start shooting just a little bit more so I don't take too much damage here. He's going to jump, which calls that sonic wave. Like I said, wiping out. Half of his people. I actually not half, I got most of his people. But I can uh, get big score. Oh, wait. Here we go. Y, B, X. Da -da! I didn't hit it in time. That's what you gotta be really careful of. I tried to. Okay, shield is the other buffer. Wow, I messed up on that, didn't I? Oh, got my HP bag. He's gonna do his little jump here. I'm gonna boom, boom, boom. Oh, okay. If you stay down and not get up in time, you're gonna be wrecked. X, X, X. Oh, wow. All X's. And then we flex. I don't wanna grab that yet. Because our hog missions aren't timed in the slightest. For people who don't know, when you're in the leash form, when you're in the leash form, yeah, you move a lot faster, you attack a lot, and you do more damage. Just everything is buffed, except for jump. Jump is jump this. All right, don't this level we collected. 
Okay. Oh, you gotta jump into it. All right. Oh, we got a B. That would have been an S if we didn't die because the rock stage is mainly based upon combos, and we got the majority of the medals in there and a lot of collectibles. So what we're gonna do here? We're gonna upgrade my life. Upgrade unleash. We're gonna upgrade everything once. We'll be moving on. Hey, Tails. Sonic? What are you doing out here? Sonic, is that really you? That's a new look. What happened? You know me. Never a dull moment. Want some chocolate? No. Uh, Tails, don't take that chocolate. He pulled it out of his butt. No, that's not safe chocolate, my boy. That's some story. I'll bet that means that you turning into that and the planet breaking apart are somehow related. I need to find Eggman and make him fix this. <laughs> and fast. About that, I think I know someone who might know something about what's going on here. Oh, really? Professor Pickle over at Spagonia University. I came to this city to gather some data. If we add that to his research findings, we might be able to get to the bottom of all this. Spagonia? That's a continent over. An easy jog if the planet weren't broken. No problem. My Tornado One will get us there in a flash. Let's get going! Leave it to you, Tails. Let's get moving. Oh great, we got this level. This is one of those levels I truthfully do not like. I rue these levels more than anything. I think it's like three of these levels in the game entirely. Three or two, I can't remember exactly which. They could have still done without these levels. I don't know what made them decide to put these in this game. Not too shabby. The professor just hop and skip. Wait, what? The professor just hop and skip. Here comes the parade. I've got this one, Sonic. Tornado battle mode engaged. There's no way in hell. I don't care how much friends I am with somebody in the world. I'm not gonna trust him to fly an airplane while I'm on the back of it. Yes, I understand. I gotta shoot with this and that. Alright, let's do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do not like this level at all. These levels, because they can be really, really like, later down the line, they become really, really difficult. Like, extremely difficult. Let's see if I can get a hit combo through an entire level. I doubt that I'll be able to get a hit combo through this entire level, but. Let's see if I can do it. Overall, the level do look really nice. I mean, like, but like once again, like I said, this is probably like the best looking Sonic game to date. I don't know, like, not saying the other ones are bad, but this is not not at all. This one just looks really, really good. I think I just messed up my hit chain by putting the wrong hit. I was basically talking about this making my hit chain when I get hit. I didn't know you can lose it by not pressing the right button and turn it Oops, there it is. I messed up. But I still got the hit though. Kinda, maybe? No. Oh rip. I didn't hit any of those guys. That's fine. I mean, they weren't shooting anything. That's what I'm afraid of most. I'm shooting something. Why am I just shooting Eggman's robots? They're not even shooting anything at me. Rip. I actually didn't see that guy. I'm gonna be real with you. I didn't see it. It was clouded by my explosion. Hmm. 
you please stop shooting all this stuff at me? I'm not ready for this. I don't want to even do this. I don't want to do this. I wish I was able to control like Sonic Advance. Not Sonic Advance, Sonic Adventure. I move around and everything and shoot when I wanted to shoot. Sonic Adventure is something that I didn't do on my channel. I don't know if I was going to do Sonic Adventure on my channel or not, but right now we're focusing on Sonic Unleashed. I believe that I'm close to the end of the level, yes I am close to the end of the level. Eggman's gonna greet me. Hello Eggman. What? What is that thing? <laughs> well, Sonic, prepare to be sunk. I mean, I was focused on firing at the giant thing in front of me. I'm not focusing on these rockets. I should be looking at me, but I don't want to die. I don't really do it. Don't make me do it. This is one of those things that also will make you redo it. Why you gotta fly off screen, dude? When you fly off screen, I can't see when the things are coming. Like that. You are scum. Oh, fire all weapons! Alright, so the way this is basically going, I'm exchanging damage for damage, 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 damage. Oh my god! Please, Eggman, don't do this to me again. I, I'm not ready. I'm not prepared to lose. Fire all weapons. Okay, that was a lot better and a lot more smoother than last time. Not last time, the last one I lost. Give me my nice and powerful, I was gonna say D, but Siege. Not bad. I'll take the Siren kindly and move on my life. This is Begonia Sonic. Now let's go find, let's go see the professor. Let's see the school he teaches around here somewhere. Alright. If you guys enjoyed the first part of Sonic Unleashed, well, if you guys enjoyed this session of Sonic Unleashed, please leave a like, comment down below, and do subscribe if you're new here. I don't know when the next part will be going up, per se, but let's try to keep this more consistent like I used to be back when I was doing more playthroughs. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please have a nice day.